So now I'm approaching an old Viking house. And, um, you know, back in those days, you can see it's all like desert. So they didn't really have trees, they didn't have timber, they didn't have wood to build houses. So here it is. So it's like made of stones, a turf house, and uh, it's built right into the structure of the mountain or the hill. So it's a, actually a great way to camouflage as well because you can't really see it. So we're here in the coast of Iceland and we just drove past one of these houses and we just had to see a closer look. all the way to the back there are some people who actually you know even if you're wearing like your full-on mountain gear shoes people are still slipping so it really is slippery so it's one of those things you need to risk if you want to come here but you know just seeing it from up here right here it's already beautiful in itself okay so i'm gonna try to get up this bridge so everyone is like struggling in Yes. Oh, thank you. That wasn't so bad. Especially when you have a strong man helping you. From the big daddy to the baby one. Nobody seems to be slipping here, so this is where we'll stay. Yeah, da 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 da. <laughs>
Okay, so you know that saying you can literally taste the rainbow? Though I can't taste it, but I'm literally so close to it. I have seriously never seen... Have you seen anything like this before where the rainbow is literally right behind me from end to end? Or at least that's what it seems to be. So I'm here in Skoga Falls, right in the south coast of Iceland. It is one of the most unreal things I've ever heard. And for all you know, at the end of that rainbow, there really is a unicorn or a pot of gold. I'm pretty sure that in one's life there's a couple of things in your bucket list but standing right in front of a rainbow is totally not one of them because it never thought it was possible. Look at it, it's just like right there behind me. And it's not faint, it's very apparent and although the waterfalls is quite grand, this rainbow here is pretty spectacular. You know, if there's one thing that travel has really brought out of me, it's fear. Fearless. I mean, sometimes it's slippery to look terrain, heights, just that fear of danger. And for me, like now, I don't care. I wanna I wanna know what it, what it feels like. I wanna go near the water. I wanna go up high. I wanna do so many things. And travel has really done that for me. 